Yo, yo. Uh, no, no, back. no more tonight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, it's John Figs, a.k.a. Juan Carlito Rompe Culito. Oh. Hey, yo. Hey. hey. Yo. Always on cue. Uh, emphatic will find things tragic. The AKA. <laughs> hey, there you yo. go. I tried that out. I tried that out. Our bill status. Uh, yo, Paranormal, a.k.a. The War Sin, a.k.a. The Phantom Assassin. You already know what it is, man. Another installment of the Manufacturing Insanity podcast. Word, word. Anything. Yo, uh, interesting news, man, for hip hop. I believe um, the 20th, <sighs> June 20th. Free free concert by Farrell Mont. She's gonna celebrate the twentieth year anniversary, I believe, of the Internal Affairs album. Get oh well, that's dope. Yeah, we're it's at, in Brooklyn. At. It's in Brooklyn. I, I forgot what what part you gotta look it up. I'm I'm considering doing that, knowing that Farrell's one of my favorites. That's a dude you cannot recreate. You know, like his style is so fucking unique. No one can even dare to carbon copy him, man. No one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but with today's the seventeenth. Yeah. And then the podcast is well, they, they, no, it they, they happened. Yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'm just saying. Okay. I, yeah, I had yeah. to keep fresh news, man, right? No, no, no. You're right about that. You're right, right about another, that. Another uh, a day, legend. Another well, day for... I, I say Queen's legend. Another day. Yeah, he's a Queen's legend, Yeah, man. absolutely. Farrell. Come on, man. Simon says, get the fuck yeah, out. Not even that. Like like the, him and Prince Poe. I think Prince Poe's going to be there, too. Oh, you think Organized Confusion's coming back? Damn. I, I, they could. They should, man. Organized confusion. Oh, and also this day in hip hop, uh, the War Report, Component Oregon, was, was released Ooh. 20 years ago. I believe 22 wow. years ago. New York, get my money. That, you remember how fucking everybody was bumping that album when T-O-N-Y. that shit dropped, man. I remember yeah. the cars blasting that, man. Now, the beats were just insane. Though. It was like yeah, a mix of uh, Havoc and P Havoc. Rock. And I, I believe Ayatollah had Ayatollah. One. I don't know if you can come. But it was a, a blend of uh, just. Supernatural beats, man. It, it, tragedy, Gaddafi's vision too, man. Yeah, like, it was him. Like uh, if you saw uh, his documentary, um, uh, <laughs> Tragedy, Gaddafi, the story of Queensbridge. I don't know if you haven't, please watch that awesome fucking documentary. Like it's not just even him. It's mm. just like his involvement with all these like Queensbridge oh, yeah. MCs and producers, like Marley Moore put him on. Like, yeah, like, tragedy, tragedy's uh, he's underrated too, man. Did he teach Noy how to rhyme? Supposedly. Oh, uh, I I don't remember to be honest. But speaking of tragedy, yo, uh, happy Father's Day to uh, all the fathers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was yesterday. Uh, you why know, is that a tragedy? Because uh, use when, the condom and it broke. <laughs> <laughs> that and no, uh, when you when you go visit, when you go and take your father out, it's not the same as taking your mother out. The restaurants are all booked when it's Mother's Day. You know, fathers they get you know they get maybe a whopper with maybe cheese yeah, on it. They, like, they do. They do say that that uh, fathers get shitted on even on their birthdays. They, didn't, yeah. they don't get the ill gifts or anything like that. So shit, they're man. the unsung heroes, man. I in mean, I, I say I think the mothers they they do you know they do all the work though. I mean, we provide and shit, men provide the fathers provide. Mm-hmm. I don't think we get overlooked. Fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, come on, we man. Get Yo, like, it's e- a team. E- You're yeah. a team, bro. Even, even like Malcolm X said, like anybody can have babies, but it's not yeah. the title yeah. of a father. You gotta be, you gotta be able to provide. You gotta yeah. be a provider. Yeah, like, that's the ultimate thing of of being a, what a father is. Like, yeah, I was doing the babysitting thing for a while soon, and it, it, it's hard, man. The babysitting kids, you know, it's hard. But um, children's Yo, Benadryl. The what? <laughs> <laughs> Children's Benadryl. Yeah, yeah. I took a couple sips. Damn, and I just, man. Damn, man. I had to knock out and just and just feel right. You know what I mean? But um, uh, yo, this has been a lot of birthdays, man. I mean, starting day. with a belated, uh, happy belated to uh, Verbal Lexapro. Yes, Verbal Lexapro. Yeah, he yeah. shouted out too on his birthday for on Gorilla Goose Radio. So yeah, that was awesome. paranormal. But you're, yours? I'm the kid from AI. I have no birthday, man. Happy birthday! It's <laughs> depressing. Word, Why? Word. I don't know. I just, I just do, man. I just, I don't know. I, I don't like. I, I don't know why I, I don't like the 
feeling of people being given and and they want to even though i i did get some ill gifts man like fucking you get gifts sometimes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. my mom's got me this ill seven line army queens fucking uh, and you hate your birthday sweater, man. Wow. That talking about, tough, bro. Man. I, I can't wait to rock that rock that shit sounds tough it's tough man it really I, I saw it it was yeah. dope my yeah. mom and my mom's gave me some uh my sister actually gave me uh, another met shirt she know i always had the Mets gear so I get a hug and or maybe a pat. Oh, maybe you get a you maybe you reach a hundred. That's the goal. That's what I get. And socks. Yeah, and socks. That's what I want for. What, that's what I want for Christmas. What are you talking about? Socks, socks or underwear? That's yeah. all I want. Yeah. Before you be like, damn, as a kid, like socks, underwear. Now it's like, yo, give me some damn socks and underwear. I got yeah. holes in my fucking. If, yeah. if, if I could ask for things which I don't, I don't celebrate Christmas. I just I just don't like. But the people gave me gifts anyway. Grinch. Either either <laughs> some fly gear. I ain't in the front. I want some fly gear or like albums. If people know how much I love hip hop, like, and oh, I'm looking forward to this. What if I you burn I mean? you a copy of an album? Damn. Yeah, it's a gift. It's a gift. <laughs> I, I, you know me. I, I, I like to support. That's the thoughtful. Art. I, like, thoughtful. I, like to support, I like to support All the right. art. You know? Yeah, right. he took time out. You know, to now nowadays I give. Oh yeah, but can you uh, flash drive? USB. Uh, and then you can use it for other things. Yeah, too. you get, yeah you have a bunch of. Hours. I just use my USB just to like you know take instrumentals to the studio or to mm. keep my files and just to transfer. That's about it. Yeah, but more uh, more birthdays. Nick's was uh, a couple weeks ago. Big Nick uh, last Nick, week. Nick Adamus. Nick Adamus. Nick Adamus. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Happy yeah, birthday. We got him. We, we got some topics. We got he got to clear up. Uh, Junior. We got to talk about Junior, man. Remember Junior, Junior the kid that got macheted up in. Oh, and, and in Washington Bronx? Heights? Oh, in the Bronx. Oh, it was in the Bronx. It was like at a bodega, yeah. They finally did the verdict for all, oh, I think it was like five five to ten dudes, right? It was like five. Yeah, it was a gang of them, man. So they finally convicted them. and that, That's horrible. I even heard like like the leaders of their gang frown upon that. that they say, yo, they're going to get taken care of. Wow. Even their own gangs. Because it's like, yo, yeah, we're involved in the street. I'm just paraphrasing. We're involved in the street life, but... That shit that we don't let fly by, like a child they don't had condone nothing that to shit. do with it. Yeah. yeah, like so. Even their own gang's gonna take care of it. Right? I, mean, I mean, rest in peace to to to, to that kid, man. He was what was he sixteen? Yeah, it was when fucked it up. He was sixteen. That yeah, was horrible. Yeah. Wait, what was, was the story? The, the one of the kid's sisters was fucking some dude. And That's the rumor. Some shit. Um, you never really. I mean, who knows? Yeah, what you really know. Happened, yeah, like, you know. Yeah. But everybody say that that kid had nothing to do with it. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah, just yeah. Like you looked like the guy. That's right? what yeah, it, so was. it was. It was like yeah. But how many? Wait, was it a down. blowout? He had a blowout or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he had a regular sixteen-year-old Dominican haircut. Yeah, all right. So. Curls and a blowout yeah. and curls. Yeah, like all look, the kids his own there. people, man. Look, we do that his to own. our own fucking people. That's, yeah. It was never that's... like that. No, it was never like that, yo. I remember one. Uh, I had a coworker. He told me he got stuck up by some Dominican cats, and. He was like, yo, don't kill me. I got kids. And he, he said, yo, mi hermano, do sa. He's like, yo, you Dominican? And the dude said, yes. And he's like, yo, the only reason I don't kill you is because you Dominican and let him go. Wow. Damn. But that that was in the 90s. Yeah. Oh, now, yeah. like, yo, I, what? I don't give a well, fuck. Well, yeah, that was the <laughs> 90s when. I, I don't think, even talk to you. You're, you're <laughs> on the floor, and then I find your yeah, money. Yeah, that was the 90s when, oh. when things, like, as a child, I didn't comprehend it because I didn't know what to feel fear. You didn't know that yet. Right. You don't know what to look out for, what looks suspect coming across the street or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But you remember Corona, man? They found fucking, like, chopped up bodies. In oh, the, yeah. yeah. It used to be wild. Which was man. actually, a, like, a, I believe across the street or a block away from where, where Najee lives. That's yeah. where that happened. Wow. And they discovered fucking just a chopped up body parts in the garbage bag. Yeah, yeah. That was wow. some wild shit, man. More birthdays. Uh, 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 my pops was this Saturday. Happy oh, birthday word? to Pops. Yeah, yeah blessed to y'all chilling. Oh, man. Your pops, man. Yeah. And then my mother, her birthday was yesterday. So they're a day apart. Oh, wow. Oh, God bless. So they were born the same They were born the same year, same month, a day apart. Wow, what are the chances? Damn. That's and very... Juan Iwana. What are the chances? Crazy. Yo, that is, yo, that is crazy. Holy crazy. Shit. I think she, she would have been... Yeah, she would have been 64. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, well, it, 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 in, in, in further news, too, man, I wanted to bring this up before I forget. Do you see that now, of course, you know, you have the practice, you, you have the freedom to practice religion in this country, as it is constitutional. Mm -hmm. Now, if parents give that as a, as a reason to not get their children vaccinated, because, you know, my religion prohibits that. Yeah. Now, you can't use that. Your kids have to get vaccinated. So they're slowly passing a, a law against that. 
Oh yeah, the kids uh, before they even start school, they have to get. I think even the flu shot is mandatory now. That's oh God. I remember being in the in the hospital for having an epileptic attack, and I don't want to get an, uh, like a, another shot for a certain vaccine or whatever. I had to sign that I rejected it. Wow. I'm like, why do I have to sign? Why do you got to keep me on file that I rejected this? Yeah. Then you know the, the nurse was nice. I wasn't like flipping on her. She's just like. It's protocol. It's just you know. So I'm like, all right, cool. But I, this, this, that was just iffy to me, man. Damn, you. They were signing. You were signing uh, a waiver. You gonna be first in FEMA camps? <laughs> oh God, I haven't heard that in a while. Actually, remember everybody was talking about the threat of the FEMA yeah, camps yeah. and all that. Uh, who knows? Who knows if it's looming? Because the whole point of all this new shit and everything going on with social media and Trump, da da da. We're so distracted with so much. Bullshit that we can't even pinpoint what the fuck is real anymore. Yeah, we can't, and, and there's few cases that we do as the way we carry each other and the way we look out for each other and shit. But other than that, is it, 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 it is confusion and like like they said, Satan is the author of confusion. You is, know what I mean? Is. So Speaking shit is Satan, running rampant. Yo, y'all, y'all peep that show Lucifer? Nah, I didn't get into it. I don't want to. Nah, nah. Yo, I was thinking the same thing. No, I wouldn't. It's I, a good I used, show. I, 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 but it's all right. That used to come out after Gotham. I used to watch Gotham until that just started to become bullshit, and I just I couldn't watch it anymore. Yeah. They changed so much. Yo, there was a point, and this is real. I was watching it at this time. There was almost a point that I think they were going to make the Penguin gay. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, I oh, am serious. Like, oh, he was shit. starting to fall for the Riddler. And I'm like, yo, well, okay, no. I, I understand. Riddle me this. I understand. <laughs> I, I understand this whole yeah. gay thing is um, is marketable now because I don't think they give a fuck if it's you're gay or not because it's a it's a money trail. It's a it new market. A it's a new it's market. It's a new market. That's all it is. And I think I think a lot of people were outraged on social media. Like, how are you gonna do this to the penguin? Like, there's no there's no reason. There's no but, reason. Are, wait, is there's there, no absolute reason? And I think the writers took heed in that and then they stopped. Wait, is so there gay switched. penguins in nature? Nah, I think I think penguins are the the only animal that's that's um, monogamous. Mm, yeah, I, yeah, that's uh, right. True. Yeah, yeah. Then they stay with one, one, one mate yeah. for their like the rest of their. I'm gonna lives. Google gay penguins right now. Yeah, I don't think they are animals. Damn it, fatty, you and your dark twisted humor, man. God <laughs> damn it, man. I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, I don't think they are any gay. Uh, mm. The, the only cases of uh, this is rare cases. They say what happens, and but that's rare cases. Yo, but it's that's rare cases. Yo, but it, it's all over. It's everywhere you look. There's some some gay stuff going on. Well, I mean, to keep it back with nature, they say hyenas. They, there's a good percentage of hyenas that actually have both male and female genitals. Yeah, you could tell by their laugh. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Yo, Dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Well, hold up. Sorry to cut you off, but there's yeah. there's gay penguins that raise other. They raised other penguins. Okay. What, to Central what's Park the, Zoo, what's male the, chinstrap penguins similar to those pictures became internationally known when they rare, successfully right? hatched and cared for an egg when they were given. Okay. They were given an egg and they raised it. There's a there's a percentage, right? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. I think we got our guest outside. Uh, I'm gonna leave momentarily to open up the door for. Her. Yeah, yeah, cause um. Yeah, we're gonna keep t- talking about this gay shit, but um, <laughs> I'm driving and I'm passing H and M, and their commercial on the billboard right on top of the building on 42nd is just that gay what? couples kissing, making out, holding hands, and it's like yo, and it's three in the afternoon, kids are coming out of school, and it's like yo, it's right in their faces or everyone's face. I just don't like the fact that I don't, you know, I don't care if you're gay or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't we don't, matter. I, we, take but it just the idea of the influence of it. It could, it could have some type of potential influence nowadays because the information is just out there. Yeah, that's, that's it's so easily obtainable. So what is what is natural nowadays? Is it you know something instinctively or something being told by something out there? Telling you who you are instead of you trying to tell the world who you are. Hed- Yo, it's kind of backwards now because heterosexuality is looking upon like we used to look at gays back in the day. Because mm. now it's like, oh, you can't say anything bad about gays, and that's the norm now. Like they have all the power and the ju- they have the juice now. <laughs> you <laughs> Yo, they the got juice. the juice now. I don't know, man. It's a weird town we live in. It. It's a different time. It's a very different time. I'll tell you that. Before, like, I don't know, like, 
like I was telling people like friends and stuff I was like yo what's normal nowadays what is considered normal is it like a certain average of people that we consider normal or is it our own individual is it our own idea of normal is what normal is like you know it's 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 a weird strange time like I don't it's I don't. yeah it's it's different I guess they say you got to move with the times right so you got to are you going to embrace it like I, no, I don't. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't have nothing against it. Yeah, we don't. I don't think but, we we here at Manufacturing Sanity. We we do not have anything against gay people. We love we love all people. But uh, we're trying to say is damn. It's uh, it's kind of uh, like it's like I'm getting punched in the face instead of like like either you adapt to it or you don't. Like yeah. it feels that way. Like here, bang. Like here. Eat this yeah. punch real quick. Like you have to. Like there's no it's, escaping. It. It's it's not it's not a gradual process. It's it's here. Let me kick you in the face with this idea real quick. Yeah. And uh, so and oh, here adapt got, to it. We got a special guest in the building. We're gonna let and we're gonna let someone here introduce. Ah <laughs> oh, man. I think that's it. Yeah. Well. Um, How are my levels? Your levels are yep. levels are good. Levels is good. Okay. Levels is good. Yo, this um. Scream real loud, real quick. See if it works real. Loud. Scream. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't, don't try. Yo, to the <laughs> listeners, uh, this is a uh, an artist that uh, I actually truly admire uh, from one of my favorite punk bands right now. We got the rebel, the organizer, the beautiful and deadly. Hey. We got the punk goddess. Wow. Well, I should name one of my songs that. God, I'm, I'm going to write that down. We got Sonia Edwards, hey. a.k.a. Jody Peyote of the you. almighty wow. biatch. Well, I think after that introduction, I should just leave. No. Hey. <laughs> oh, you, know, right? you, really, you really set me up for failure here. No, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not. No, you dropped the mic and just bounced. Yeah. <laughs> leave on the high note. No, no I respect your mics too much. I no. Nah. Well, uh, uh, Sonia, I want to... Uh, start off with this um the punk the vote thing is that something that you do that annually or that was the first time you did it was back in october right i believe the, yeah so that i'm sorry was, before you even answer that you got to offer the young oh yeah yeah of course. Oh, oh yeah man. that was gonna yes, come please. eventually yes, and that's go. what i like so about much. sonia she drinks beers ain't too many females that could do that wow come on no i i think that's no it, it, ain't too many not not, not, no, not that man. i know what through your experiences well, with the punk shows I went to, yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, Ooh. that was crazy. The the first time I met her, she actually bought me a beer. So thank you. Nice, for that. nice. Yeah. I don't well, remember that, but I will take your word for it. Oh yeah, yeah, that was the <laughs> Jigsaw Youth concert. Beyonce yeah, started. Yeah, yeah. A trans, a trans Pecos. Picos. Picos. I always forget. Independent women. What? In the uh, you don't need a man type of thing. So I could I, I could buy you a beer. It doesn't, you know, it's it's fine. Yeah. Well, I never had a girl buy me a beer, man. You're lucky. Nah, <laughs> nah, man. Nah, but uh, so Wait, you, the punk, the punk, the vote thing. <laughs> that's you, that's something that that you just started in October. You that do that was that was actually. I should give credit where credit is due. That was the brainchild of my friend Erica. I don't know. Did you meet Erica? When I she may was have. There? I may. She have. is the front woman of this band called Rest Assure. Um, they are going under a new. They're switching up their arrangement right now but she's still the front woman and that was her idea she basically messaged me one morning on facebook and was just like you know we've been friends for a couple of years and she was like sonia like i really just want to you know i'm just i woke up this morning and i listened to the news and i read the news and i got mad and i just want people you know more involved and like angered about the issues and i want an event that brings music and awareness and wow. it's like she was like saying all that's these cool. very vague things but like i got but like it was an idea and i'm like all right it's what july like we have we have some months until the next election cycle like yes. we can do something to kind of get the vote out for the progressives and like i know some people who play music who are also involved in um who are actually involved in political campaigns. You had a great so, lineup that, that day, too. That was great. I mean, it took a lot of uh, um, a lot of asking, and not everyone was super down. Because it's like, I, she and I, and then a couple friends of ours, uh, Carlos and, oh my gosh, what is her name? This is embarrassing. <laughs> oh 
Hold it closer. Thank you. No, no, this, this, this <laughs> is an impromptu podcast. Is, this, is a, this is a learning we're curve. Pro- we're not professionals um, yet. <laughs> and so she and I and a couple friends of ours, it was just the four of us. And we, two of them were the like political side of things. They got the speakers. And then mm. Eric and I uh, got the venues and the bands. And Trans Picos is great because Trans Picos... It's a dope venue. I, li- it's I a, like it's that It's a dope venue. venue, and they will literally, if they're free, whatever day you ask them, they're down to host whatever show. Yeah, the the lineup was awesome, it's though, because you, you, she was able to get the commoners there. Like, when I saw that on the The Commodores? Bill, the commoners. I, I, think, <laughs> I, I, I think it's pronounced the Cominas. I'm the Cominas? Yeah. I heard commoners before. Okay, I could I be wrong. And, and, of course, Cruel Children. Shout out to, to, to Cruel, Cruel Children. Children. Yeah, that was awesome. We love them. Yeah. Well, you you've been but you've been roughly with Biatch. You said about like three years. It's been about three years. Wow. Yeah. Quick her question. Li- her the little name. brother's in the in the in yeah the band. yeah. Her little brother yeah, Miles is in yeah. the band. Yeah. Well, that's how it started, right? You little Biatch. That's what you called the little brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know, I- Honestly, no. I the name. I I just like I've always liked the word. I I don't know. It's why. very intriguing. Uh, intriguing yeah. Word. No. I think it's. It's it's funny. Um, that's pretty much Wait, it. Wait, how I how mean, is it spelled? Is it B? Well, that's yeah. It's B E E Y O T C H. Nice. For, for the listeners, yeah. for the Wait, listeners, hold on, hold on. <laughs> a little little, little <laughs> ad drop real quick. Uh, yeah. What was it? B E B E E Y O T C H dot bandcamp dot com. Yeah. Boom! There it yeah, is. Check out Man. Fear City. Support support on the art because uh, Fear City is definitely one of those. Those serendipitous albums that I listened to when we met. And you say, yeah, I'm in a band. B. So I decided to check it, and I was like. I think four songs in when I was like, yeah, I'm buying this. Like that oh, was just, that's yeah, nice. that was, that's, that was your that's exact nice. tweet. Yeah, was it? Yeah, that was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh shit. And, and I know you just met these guys. Like you, you've heard them though, because this is yeah. John yeah. Figs. He was on uh, the album as well. This is emphatic. He produced Stigmata. Pleasure, Palms. pleasure. Very, very Cheers. good producer. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Yeah. Cheers. Salud. To You're punk, all doing great stuff. To, yes, yes, to, yes. To, yes, to, punk, hey, to punk and hip hop, which punk I, and hip hop merging. Punk and yeah. Wow. Nah, because that's one thing. That's one thing also that I took from that show. Like uh, that, I wish you guys went, but I know you guys were busy. Um, meeting the, those people involved in the punk culture, like they inherently knew hip hop, which is something that's that's fought on, on our side as far as hip hop people. Like you, you're saying, like people who are like. In mostly the hip hop scene, just are in this day and age, they don't like know the the history. That's but that's one thing that like your genre of music, of course, metalheads and people are into funk and soul and su- such and such. They know their history. There's a part a that, that yeah, there's a lot of element. There's a part of us that I mean, I can't stress enough that our youth doesn't know know their history or the forefathers that came before them musically. No, so. but I don't. No, I don't think you have to though. I mean, I I think I think even. With the scene that I'm usually hanging around, uh, that's almost that. That's very much a point of contention. It's like, are you just like name dropping? Are you like spewing all this history because mm. you want to seem point. smarter than everyone else? Like, it's mm. a, it's very much kind of a. So like, I I would not. I mean, you know, give credit where credit is due, of course. Absolutely. But um. But I, I wouldn't say that. That's a necessary precursor to doing good stuff in the present, making it, good music and making good connections. With but the yeah. Is there an influence for you that makes you do the music? Is there something that you could I mean, say that drove you to do that type of music? I couldn't name one in particular. Mm. Like, like, I was afraid <laughs> you'd ask this question. <laughs> no, no. It's not, I mean, if you, could, like, if you say no, I'm like, all right, like, like it just came. Not. No, you know. I, I grew up listening to um, a lot of punk in the background, but also, oh, okay. uh, but also a lot of hip hop in the background. Like mm. my uh, father was always playing some kind of obscure record from the eighties. From mm. really, yeah, your father. Wow. No, you no, he and and to this day he is like a compulsive buyer and seller of records. Oh, that's, cool. oh, that's awesome! Genres. That is awesome. I, wow. I visited. <laughs> The other day, uh, at his office, he was just playing. Um, he was like, "Do you like this uh, Chinese folk metal?" <laughs> and right. I was like, oh, that's cool. Chinese right. folk metal. I didn't even know that existed. That's crazy, man. No, wow. no, yeah. yeah. I mean, he well, he, he definitely has an encyclopedic knowledge of every. So he's a music buff, like yeah, head like yeah. You, you look, all types. Of you music. look like you like Wu Tang and shit. 
<laughs> she does look like she likes Wu Tang. Yeah, yeah. like like but the thing is, I don't actually. I'm not actually that familiar with Wu Tang, but my father is. But the thing is, he would give us so much information and so much music that it all kind of like washed over me, and yeah. so. I took whatever I listened to and heard, and whatever comes out comes out. The oh, inspiration kind of lathered thing. you. Yeah, right. exactly. Well, that, yeah. that, that osmosis. That's there, right. you go. Osmosis. there you go. There you go. That, that, I mean, that, that's something we said in earlier episodes too, though. That like people forget, like the Clash opened up for Grandmaster Flash. You know what I mean? Like yeah, Grandmaster yeah. Flash put them on, and they were getting booed, but it, and then by the hip hop crowd. Right, you know? right. But he was the one that you know. Excuse me, breached the surface, and he was like, "No, you don't understand. These guys came just like how we came up. It was, you know, fuck the middleman, do it yourself, fuck music lessons." Yeah, yeah, because before that, yeah. disco was the the number one genre, oh, and then I yeah, I guess we, <laughs> we're yeah. punk and hip hop kind of like meet hands. Yeah, like, yeah, fuck disco. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. That's what it I was. like disco. But, you like, get some bell bottom no, shoes, disco. and you get no, some we, fish. We no, love, I'm just joking. Love, <laughs> no, but we love. Disco too, disco. but it's but disco was the, the catch-all hustle. for like <laughs> mainstream yeah. hip hop music. But people don't realize, you know, what's the modern day disco is like house music. Yeah, yeah, it's the you same. Think so? no, yeah, I, I, I think, think so. I mean, like Katy Perry, probably like yeah. this, the new disco. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Katy Perry, Katy uh, music, whatever EDM, whatever whoever is headlining at Gov Ball. Yeah, um, it's it's that's the mainstream will always be the mainstream. Yeah. Silent disco. <laughs> Sound yep. disco. Yeah, one of her songs. Check out Fear City, man. It's a dope fucking album. So speaking of Fear City, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, your, your transitions are always great, man. Yo, oh, shit. Was, speaking was, of Fear City, are you scared right now? <laughs> yeah. What was scary was going through Instagram and yeah. The Rock posted a picture. The Rock Dwayne Johnson or the Rock Dwayne Johnson? Skelter? Oh, Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. Okay, okay. <laughs> Help the Skelter. Help the Skelter. Sean Price, rest in peace. Yeah. Man. But he. He posted a picture. He's in a pool, and his daughter is jumping in the pool, but she's naked, and she's only three years old. Mm. So he got a lot of flack, mm. you know, for posting that yeah, picture. Because well, there's a lot of sickles. There's a lot of, but, a lot of sickles. Like, and yeah. in the comments, there were there were dudes like, yo, I'm going to yeah. take this picture home, and I mean, you know, later, and I'm going to whatever, you know, yeah, like getting yeah, graphic. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and she's a three-year-old. So, but, uh -huh. See, I, I was going to say, at first, I was like, well, that's not really any different from any schmuck posting a, a picture or, like, any celebrity posting their child. Right. Um, but then it's naked, and, all yes. right, they have lots of followers, and so, yeah. Yeah, it's a problem. Sickos out there. That is a problem, I think. It is but a problem. It, did you... I don't know if he has the... Like, he just probably did it innocently. He no, didn't no, have... Yeah, he, he didn't, didn't have no intention. Yeah, like, 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 a naked three-year-old, there are pictures uh, like that all over my apartment but, but they're, like, they're but not you see, on instagram yeah, yeah, your yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. exactly well, so on. it's in a private setting what if what if i'm a foodie and a guy posts a picture of a cake or something and i jerk off to that cool that's not weird that's a, a cake is hey not a no person, you can't say that all, Animal. wait, wait, cake is not wait. A animals man. american pie that changed the whole game. <laughs> that changed the whole. That changed the whole Jesus game. Christ. That pie, that dude it's was a joke. Yeah, yeah. No, okay, then we so should. So if he wants to take a tres leche, uh, okay, <laughs> make it four. <laughs> 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 well, I was I was gonna bring up a serious thing, but I guess you nah, can bring it. Nah, no, 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 it's not serious. There's no. people right now. Yeah, people right now. But you then know, you know I, it's fucked up. I can't compare a kid to a cake. I understand that. I'm just well. The, 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 yeah, you remember it's your timely, saying, dark and twisted subject matter, you, man. Yeah, you, you gotta go to the dark say, side. Remember, um, Betty, Betty, uh, a previous guest, she said that's an that's a disease. That's a mental uh, disorder. Mm. Uh, what like what do you mean pedophilia? Eating cake? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, eating pies? pies. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, <laughs> I went yeah. for cakes. You went yeah. for pie. Yeah, okay. Wow. Damn. So, in that case, you wouldn't be able to live around a bakery. Oh, hell no. Wow. So Can't you, get high off your yeah. own supply. Yo, what the fuck is this episode turning into, <laughs> man? What are you guys Yo, it's real, about? it's real <laughs> topics, oh, man. Well, I, it all in post. I like uh, having man. the discussion. That's it. Just I know you do, but, brother. I'm just so, basically, you said you have thousands of pictures like that of a three-year-old, baby pictures, naked, but in your home. Not on Instagram. See, that's the problem. Well, and, and, and particularly when it's a celebrity posting it with like millions of followers. Right. Yeah. Like that's right. Just, yeah, like so many people. It's a different. When it's a public account, like. Yeah. 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 Hey man, Black Mirror touched it on, on that. No, and that? and it's particularly 
bad because the child is three years old. I mean, like, she can't agree to yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, how about your parents when you go to their house and they have the big, they bring out the but big old photo? It's not on Instagram, <laughs> though. But it's not, it's not on social, it's not on and the internet. And your parents are not celebrities where everyone yeah. can take that picture. It's not on the true. internet. It's not on the That's internet. True. But I think. Wait, who never, you never know. I could be a celebrity one of these days. Nah, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Why not? Would you want to? I don't know. I, I you know you know what my know. level is like. It'll be weird. I just want to be able to go to McDonald's. Is that, I don't want to be. And then people are like gonna ask for a picture or some shit. Wanna, I'm like, yeah, I just want to eat some nuggets. I don't want to be like <laughs> like war shit famous. I want like okay, I'm content. I can get, get some by. Chips. I could pay bills. I could take something. care of my my people's. Like that's the. I think that's just human go. beings just over like idolizing. Yeah, well, but regular then, ass then, people then, like then people just picture the Rock me. taking a shit and then <laughs> your picture goes away from it right away. Yeah, yeah. The Welcome to the people. manufacturing sanity podcast. Yeah. Listen, they say is, if yeah. you make if you make at least twenty grand a year, you're like ninety five percent richer than the, the rest of the world and shit. Twenty grand a year here in this country compared to oh, third oh, world to, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, okay. Twenty okay. grand is the middle class, I think, is the cutoff. Here? Is it? Yeah, like no, twenty no, to thirty. No, no, no. I think I think it, it went up. I think is middle there a middle class? class? Yeah, but see, this <laughs> is the is thing. No this is the thing, though. though. Yeah, the money looks like it goes bigger, but then the value increases too. Right. So everything you're paying for, you, oh, you think you can cover? It's just that the value increased too. That's all it is. But it's dope in DR. It's inflation. You know what I mean? I was able to get like a whole chicken and some tostones for like two bucks. <laughs> Where? In DR. In DR. DR yeah. and the a guy comes in the Walk shopping Dominican, cart yeah, and there's yeah. like a little. Speaking room. of DR, never mind. I don't want to. Would you want to take a trip and vacate in uh in Dominican Republic? <laughs> Just in general? Yeah. Well, sure. Every, yeah. yeah. But you know that a lot of tourists are dying. A lot of tourists are dying. No, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why Dominican sure? Republic. Well, I same. think is it the same hotel? Well, someone just died two days ago. <laughs> yeah, I heard about Again? that. Yeah. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh What's my that? God. So apparently, the people go into these resorts. They, you know, they're drinking. They, they want something stronger. So they're asking the bartender to make me something stronger. I think you had the effect. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that. So they're saying that they're bootlegging liquor out there, and they, I don't know. They may mix it with like cleaning yeah, products. Yeah, that was the drunkest <laughs> I ever like, was in my life. He, he felt crazy while he drank it. He yeah. felt not yourself, right? You didn't even know I never at. no, I never had those like you know where people are sloppy and they're running like that drink. I took one shot of it and I was, oh shit! I gotta hold on to something. Or I'm gonna fall. You know, oh, yeah, like, but like how much had you been drinking before that? Yeah, but it's you know it's it's an all inclusive hotel, so they give they water <laughs> down the drinks. So you have to oh, drink yeah, they like water down the drinks. They'll give you like ten drinks. and You're like cool. I got a buzz. And then I told the bartender, I was like, hey, I want something stronger. You got to help uh, me see, out. See, yeah. Then he pulled out a clear bottle <laughs> with clear <laughs> liquid. He's like, yeah, here, yeah, take yeah. a shot of this. <laughs> that moonshine. And I was stuck man. there for like five minutes. And then I'm like, all right, I got to get out of here or I'm going to pass out on the floor. Wow. wow. And uh, <laughs> so, <they're saying laughs> so people are dying just from alcohol poisoning. That's no, no, but that, they haven't said the reason, but everyone's speculating is that. Okay. Uh, but they're just appearing dead on, in their resort rooms. It's just crazy. Couples. Yeah. The this past guy. month, that's been a lot of those. It's cases, been almost right? like twelve yeah, almost, people yeah. already. Holy shit! Is it like the same hotel or is it? Uh, it's different resorts. This different this resorts. one was in Sosua. That was just like miles, miles away from Puerto Plata. Yeah, but I mean, so knowing the facts, would you still want to go? Even if it's like, oh. Well, if the only thing hours. I have to do is not ask for anything <laughs> strong. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, yeah, Why not? Yeah. Oh, why not? No, nah, have, you, have, you, have, have you actually... Even though that would be hard for me. Wait, and don't, leave, and, <laughs> and don't leave the resort. Never leave the resort. Never leave the resort. Okay. Never leave the resort. Okay. But Well, if I never leave the resort, then maybe not, because I can go to a resort anywhere. And if true. all I see is a resort, then That why? is true. Damn, it's you, double you, true. You, you've been to Russia, right? I have. Yeah. Could, How is could, it out there? Cold. Uh, right? cold. Yeah, you're right. I went. Um, last Did, time I went was. What were you gonna say? No, I was gonna say I remember. Well, I'm. I, you know, I met Russian people and stuff like that. And they they tell me in the morning, like before they do anything, they just take a shot of vodka. I Jesus. <laughs> perhaps that might be true. That's I'm great culture, man. But they do drink a lot. Um, generally, I think I don't really know any like really Russian people that well. Yeah. Um, last time I went was. Two years ago, exactly, uh, like beginning of July, and it was still like fifty degrees oh in, ju in July. In July. Wow. Yeah, it was not fun. And That's nice. But <laughs> I like the cold. Like I like the cold. Yeah. I'm a summer guy. I, I know, used to like too. the summer, but I love the summer so much. I'm. Yeah, no. So it was hard for me in that respect. Uh, Moscow is eh, boring. Don't bother. But oh, except for the the metro stations. 
holy shit the best yeah. subways well, like, you've like, ever seen really you mean like architecture wise yeah and like... well everything wise so okay. you go down and the ceilings are so high and every station have has these like beautiful mosaics oh, oh wow. damn. It's like glittering a, it's like mosaics. cathedrals or something like that yeah yeah oh, it's like crazy. it's like stepping into a church every time oh you that's wow. crazy that's but here's the other thing every train is no more than two minutes behind the net, the previous oh, one. Oh, wow. The seven line could take so a lot fast. of, you know, yeah. the seven line could wow. take some, some examples. And they're always so there. consistent yeah? and so fast, yeah. Uh, wow. But St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg yeah. is really nice because yeah, that, that too. It's, he's it's, oh he's been to rush yeah he did shows over there i don't know it's definitely more you know socially liberal and mm. uh it's a younger it's uh, moscow is pretty old now um uh, an older population but st petersburg is a lot more s uh small and walkable and it's just a lot of they're just more arty Fun mm -hmm. music things to do. Well, also, well. oh, you went to like certain shows out yeah, there, like yeah, punk I shows. Yeah, I, I went to like, I, th I think I just went to one actually, um, just at a random bar and venue kind of thing. And it was a punk uh, show. Yeah, it was. Huh. It was. It was punk. It was a little more stoner rock, like kind of sludgier, but it was. I thought. Really I thought yeah. certain stuff. How, how many punk noses shows. you broken in a punk show? <laughs> <laughs> how many noses? Oh, it was really funny because I just. <laughs> I, I just I walked out of a job interview today. Oh yeah, How'd and it go? I realized. Well, I think it went well, but when I literally when I walked out of the office, um, I realized I still had blood on my skirt from last Halloween. I don't know if. Oh my from god! Last Halloween. Um, god so damn. I was at a. He's a vampire. I was at the Knockdown <laughs> Center at a show, and. <laughs> Some guy, I, I like, I don't know, like I was, I was in the mosh you're, pit, you're like, in the, you're like oh, yeah, were thrown, so like I didn't really notice anything was going on. But like, wait, I did you close your eyes and you just go? Wild? Someone elbowed you? And yeah, someone elbowed me or something, or just like just I, don't, I don't know what happened. Because, like, I was, but that's part of the because I'm well, my reference is I'm thinking about Henry Rollins and he's right, he, he has right, these stories right. like, oh yeah, I had to beat people down. Wow. I'm doing the show. <laughs> Bad Brains had to do that the first time they went to, I believe, uh, London. Ain't no bad brains, all Rastafarian. But that's part of that's no, part but, of the show. Is, no, they invented seven. the the pit. Though. Yeah, but this is like you know late seventies, early eighties. You know, this was new to see an all black Rastafarian like punk band. That was crazy. They invented the pit. The pit. The well, pit. they 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 were the ones who called it the the mosh pit mm. because their energy, HR, man, their energy has shows. So they Jamaican. The Rastafarian. Rasta, they're they're black. They're from DC. Yeah, they're from DC. Yeah, they're from Rastafarian. But did you get a second I, I'll, interview? I'll send you some send shit. Me some yeah, I'll send you some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> no, I said it. Did you get a second interview? No. For, uh, anyway, so anyway, this, this, this show, um, I got I got whacked in the head apparently. Oh, so, so no, basically, uh, the band finishes their set. Some guy comes up to me. And um, he's like, no, are are you okay? Like, are you, do you, do you need me to help you? So I'm like, no, dude, I'm fine. Like, we're dancing, it's fine, it's chill. And he's like, no, but seriously, like, are you good? Like, do you need help? And like, it got to a point where I was just like, dude, like, I'm fine, it's chill. Uh -oh. Leave me alone. I, and I, then, are you sure? Yeah. I, th I think, I think. And then no, but then I, I I go back to my friends, and I was like, oh yeah, that was a cool set, right? Like mm -hmm. those, that band was good. And they were like, Sonia is is that fake blood or real blood i'm just like huh, blood <laughs> <laughs> that means like, it was what? a good show <laughs> and there was no literally all down my Leaking. face and oh, like wow. all over my outfit wow. like, nice this part of your face bleeds yeah. Bleeds quick, yeah. oh yeah this part, ufc yeah, told me yeah, that ufc, shit right UFC yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but speaking of like live performance that's one thing i i always wanted to comment on uh with sonia especially when, when biatch takes the stage like, you just transform into a totally different person because you're, like, this very laid-back, soft-spoken person. And all of a sudden, yo, she goes on stage. And you know me, I appreciate stage presence. Like, I love that yeah. in a rapper or, or any singer. That energy. energy. Yo, she just she just becomes this diva and starts uh. becoming, yeah, like, she just, like, does these poses and just yells and fucking... It, she transmogrifies, bro. Like, I'm telling you, you guys got to come with me to see B.I. Yeah, is it, is yeah. it, do you reach a certain mind state? Do you go, all right, I got a yeah. time to go to 100 right I, now? I definitely read that I don't give a fuck attitude when she's on stage. Do I, you yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I have to, like, tell myself that, like, verbally, but... Um, you, but, like... But, it, but something does switch, I, I think, because, I mean, there's... It's impossible 
for me to be like that all the time, obviously. But just the same, it's impossible for me to be chill all the time. Mm. Like, there's something in there the that yin needs and the yang. to get out. Yeah. But, it, but, like, I'm just saying, like, do you, is it just, all right, you're on stage and it's like, all right, it's time to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's That's cool. Of, it's more yeah. of a. It's more I'll have of a quick to do like. Yeah. I'll have to do like push-ups or no, 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 yell no, or no, scream no, or something no, like that. It's a different know. thing no, when you hold yeah, the mic it, up there it, in stages. It's, uh, it's yeah. just crazy. That's why I just. Yeah, you like, guys see what I do. You, right? you, yeah. you feed off the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And Absolutely. That, that's what it is. Or you <laughs> compensate for their lack of energy. <laughs> like if yes, I'm playing a show yes. to two people, um, then that's when I have to tell myself, like, okay, I have to really Start make myself as big mic. as possible to yeah. to Gather make it, it seem like there are more people in the room. The, the, the okay. show the show you had at um that this was uh I, I I think in February. I went at Cruel Children was on the bill too. Uh, was that uh pianos. Oh at pianos yeah, 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 I, I yeah. performed there I think too. That was late January, yeah. Yeah I performed there too like in August. Mm-hmm. That show was definitely like you could tell everybody in the crowd was that absolute was a good show. everybody yeah. so you were feeding off of that. You know what I mean? That's that's one of then my dreams, man, to have a fucking a punk hip hop collaboration show. Wow. Where you have just like punk bands and hip hoppers and like the, I mean, we got that'll be awesome. Punk, if you can, I think we, we should do it. Punk punk rocker. Yeah, that'll yeah, be fucking because you know what? What, what both of our elements, them. both of our elements, is that we're just like anti-establishment. That's like the core of our respective genres of music. It it, it came from anti-establishment. Mm. You know what I mean? So, so you're, you're opposed to the government and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Simple as that. That's, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I had to ask her when I met her, like, yo, are you a social? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. I ching to you. You know what I mean? So it was crazy. The I ching. Oh, she has one too? What? Like does tattoo? she have an I ching? A, a what? A, a, a this? A ching ching? No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, but I Ching, the I Ching manual. Don't yeah, we, uh, yeah, you, you explained what? it. Last time. But does she know? But she doesn't. I, know, ask I don't think I know. No, no, um, no, no. Nah, what this is that? like um, from from a uh, ancient Chinese man. It was like sixty three variations of these. Okay. And this is the seventh one. This actually means the people to struggle, and uh, upside down is like uh, power and like together. That's cool. Yeah, I got it from uh, Dead Press. Power, to, power so, to, yeah. to the people. Nice, nice. We gotta stick That's together. Cool. You know, what I mean, it's uh, it's bad out there. Um. So your friend, you said you mentioned your friend. She was very vague with her ranting and and all the yeah, political. I, I, I stands. wouldn't call it ranting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what what right. are your stance with you know, um p- with the politics right now that's going on? Um, for example, Trump he's trying to implement uh, a new question for the oh, questionnaire the for census. the census. Yes. It, well, the he asked the are question. You a, no, huh? He asked the question. No, no, he no, wants no. to implement. Oh, okay, I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> he never asked <laughs> questions. He never asked questions. That's, but you voted for him. Yeah, you ain't vote for him? Fuck I thought you, you did. Man. Yeah. I'm like, nah, man. So, I'm like, um, the lesser of two evils, I'm not a fucking vote for that shit. So he wants to, he's asking, uh, one of the questions, what well, the, the question is, are you a citizen? He wants to implement that. He, he wants to put that into the census. Yeah. And, <laughs> what, and what people are saying is that that will Jeez. get um, people who are not citizens of the right. United States just to not and participate in the census. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, of course, I'm against that because everyone needs to be accounted for. That's why I am applying to be a census worker. Yeah. So, yeah. So oh, that, that, that was that was the kind of job interview thing that I just it was at the Census Bureau. Oh, Long um, City, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. They there are a bunch of different offices. Yeah. Oh, okay. They ended up moving me to the Bushwick one mm, randomly. That's new. Um, that's new. I did I did it in two thousand. What was 10? the last one? Ten. Two thousand ten. Yeah. Was every ten years? Yeah, yeah. I did it. Um, yeah. They pay well. Yeah, they, uh, they, <laughs> they pay no, well. Uh, much uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. my 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 thought process is if you go no <laughs> to are you a citizen? ICE is coming to your house. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's gonna happen. You're setting that's yourself exactly up. That's exactly what I'm. So yeah. I'm like, the, people don't know yeah. that. Oh. It, <laughs> So. And then boom, and then ice shows up at your house. No, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the most I can Yo. do as a citizen, and I hope people don't come for me for this, but no one is going to. But I'm not going to. If if that question is on the thing, I'm not yeah. going to ask it. Well, one thing I, w- I want to comment on. Wait, is hold up. Is there a uh, I don't want to answer to that yeah, question? There, there is an I don't want to answer. Oh, okay. But I feel like people who are looking for non-citizens will take that as a no. Obviously. Exactly. Yeah, that means, yeah. all right, now we're going right. to have a little radar around your yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, this this actually um, 
I mean, pertains political and with, with your music. Um, one thing I noticed with the new material that, that Biatch has been doing in the recent shows that I attended, you guys seem to, to have more for, for the upcoming album, I'm t- titled Undetermined, I assume. Yeah, I think we're going to call it Right Behind You. but Right Behind You. Okay. All right. Well, I I noticed, like, apart from Fear City, you guys seem, for for the new material, like, it's taking more of a hardcore turn, especially with songs like, like, uh, you know, Don't Call the Cops, and it's, like, (laughs) more politically fueled. I think think Don't Call the Cops is the only one that's... I love that song. Thank you. Thank you very much. (laughs) Uh... I wouldn't. I don't know if, if if I would even call it more politically fueled because, like, basically my writing process with that song. I don't know how much we are. How we're doing on time? Do you right? think? Do okay. you think? Yeah, don't worry about it. Right. Do we worry about that. Don't worry cool. about it. Um, the my writing process for that song was not like I have things to say and I'm going to say them. It was basically just like I came up with a couple sick licks and then yeah. I. Uh, was like all right licks? and i I'm just sorry. like <laughs> what do you mean licks? like 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 riffs, uh, like, riffs, chord, oh. like riffs or chord yeah. progressions she plays the bass as well so yeah, yeah. and yeah, i wrote i wrote some of these new songs on bass yeah my licks and her licks <laughs> so, well, I, I, I guess <laughs> i guess my comment hey. I, hey. I guess it sounded more heavier Drunch. i guess yeah, that's yeah, why it, it does heavier. sound heavier yeah. like that. i mean it's not like we say wepa yeah. Wepa. 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 Oh, you heard that before. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that I guess that's what maybe that's probably what I should have said. Like it does sound more heavier. Like it is it is definitely heavier. Um Yeah, and I, I don't I don't think that I can like verbally explain how it got to that point. It's just like I don't know, it was whatever natural. whatever's been like, Yeah. Yeah, it was like, actually you know what, you know what I think it is? It's because I started writing a lot of the songs on the bass and I finally had like an instrument to play with. It was a lot different mm. than just like making the songs up in my head mm. and like telling everyone, Okay, this is how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Nah, but that that's it's definitely necessary. a favorite of mine. I, I I can't wait to hear the Thank studio you. version yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. And uh one thing I like will be dope is like i don't know why i could hear you guys doing this especially with your sound like if biatch can cover uh no feelings from sex pistols right right mm. right i'm just inner i don't know I, I just think like that with your sound you know covering that song i'm like i think that'll be a unique take on it nice but that's just that, that's just me no, no, i listen no, totally. to a lot of sex you know what today, you know so. what i i we <laughs> i get a lot of people coming up to me being like oh my god you guys should totally cover such and such mm. and i'm thinking just for fun, we will probably do like even if I have no idea what the song is, yeah. Like just a, a, an EP or an album where we do all of the songs that people have told us to cover. Oh, wow. why not? I mean, yeah, that would be interesting. It's been a while since I even heard something like that. I think the last time I heard that was uh, it was a compilation album that was different bands and they were covering U two songs. Okay. Yeah, that has like the Cure did one. The Cure actually did a really good take. I love the Cure, man. They I was gonna ask you, like, do you have a particular like thought process to make music? Is you got to be in a particular zone, or is it a, I, a certain I, routine, or is it just whatever I, it know, comes up man, out of nowhere? I, I wish it were a routine because then I would be writing a lot more songs. Shit. But it's like it really. I, I go through periods mm. where I will write like four songs and a week and a half and then like months where it's nothing okay. i'm the same way yeah uh, yeah i'm and usually a slow writer myself yeah, so it's yeah. like but i'm always uh content with what what the results are that's good yeah so yeah. as long as like if it if it's a I'm slow process is better than no process at all i agree and i and i'm yeah. and i'm pretty much the same way i mean yo speaking of results um <sighs> the results came in man of they what? convicted those those guys from oh, were they did they, ah, fuck uh, you Walter Mercado. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Animals. Yo, uh, uh, yeah, fuck that. So, Ooh, that so was yeah. horrible, you know. I don't know if you heard. It was maybe, it has been a year already? I would say. It was like last summer, if I'm not the mistaken. The young kid yeah, yeah. Uh, in the Bronx, he got but, he got my, he butchered to death by a gang of, uh, it was a Dominican gang. And um, three, three, three Trinitarios, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 it was a mistaken identity case. Yeah. So they, they oh, caught shit. this kid. Yeah, he was innocent. Apparently, we don't know. We weren't there. But um, they butchered him today. There was like 10 of them. You know, it was just one kid. He, How old was he? He was 16. 16 he like ran that. into the store trying to trying to find refuge. They didn't let him in. 
They let him in, but they they kicked him out. They're like, you can't stay here. We don't want any problems. That's yeah, right. and they they dragged him out too. They, right? And then yeah, the, yeah, they yeah, came they in, dragged him out, yeah. killed him. Um, he walked himself. Uh, let me get another one. He yeah, walked himself. Mean? He walked towards the the hospital, and uh, collapsed. And there were nurses walking by, coming out the hospital, and they didn't help him. They got fired. I didn't hear that yeah. part of the story. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. And people, crazy. people instead of calling that the cops, sense. they were filming, which was another thing. They could have saved them, you know? Everyone's filming instead of calling yeah. the cops. World Star. Everybody's on, like, on that World Star. I think it was it's all about the likes. It's horrible, man. It's all about the Yo, likes. I watch too much Black Mirror, man, so I can't. I, 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 yeah, it yeah, fucks me up, man. Yeah, so, you know, Black Mirror, I, I love that show. But yeah. um, Do you watch this one? Uh, I actually watched an episode last night. I don't watch it that often, but I do every. Oh, now it's and it's I like it's it. tr- most yeah. of the time you're gonna be disturbed. That's the. Yeah, we need like yeah, music, yeah, like yeah. mystical yeah. music for him. You got it. That's your job. Oh, man, I, all right, I'll try that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but he's he's got to wear a robe and like. <laughs> uh, uh, what are those? He's probably taking what the hell are you talking about? Because <laughs> it's Nicodemus. Oh, he's got to wear a robe and a, a yeah, it's our and friend Nicodemus in a purple turban in the house with a feather on it. He's not picking up. Well, he's going to be vacant for this episode. What do you do? Come on. We got Sonya Edwards here, man. We got to, you know. Of course. You have reached voicemail okay, box yeah. of 9 one, picking up. Wait, so, <laughs> so when is uh, uh, Biatch's next show? Do you guys have one lined up? Or? Our next show, yes, is on June 29th at nice. Heart Stop, which is a house venue on Heart and Broadway. Uh, ask a friend for the address. Oh, you don't think I'm uh, I, Well, not only do I not know it, it's uh, I don't know it. Mm. Well, there's, there's, <laughs> a, there's actually, I believe, a free show this Saturday if you want to come through. It's actually uh, Jigsaw Youth there. and uh, Fear is Dead, which is actually the least singer I actually know. We've actually I collaborated am. before. Oh, yeah, cool, so cool, cool. Thompson well, Park. It's, it's well, this Saturday fun. is also Punk Island, mm. which is a music festival. I don't think I heard of that. Punk Island? I've never been, but it sounds really sick and cruel children is playing and my other oh friend, nice Human nice Sh- shout outs to ella man she's such she's such a nice yeah. uh, woman Love man like ella. yeah ella's ella's fucking awesome man yo speaking of punk yeah there was this punk dude right this kid is a punk man you talking about like he was involved in the music or he was just a punk ass fucking dude <laughs> I, I don't after the game the raptors game yeah so uh one of the the uh commentators were asking questions of random fans okay a golden state fan this dude, oh, he was a Raptors fan, matter of fact. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. He goes, um, they asked him a question about Aisha Curry. She was in the game. Apparently, something, uh, she had mentioned something on Twitter about uh, Republicans. So then he okay. goes, he goes, uh, he goes, yeah, I'll, I'll fuck her right in the pussy. And ran off, and it was live. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, but there's a thing, though. There's a guy that always says that. I've seen it on YouTube. Yeah? He just says that randomly, any question, yeah, like, I, I and became a before. thing. It became yeah, a yeah, thing. Man, that's that's what fuck around the pussy, and then they just run away. Well, that's what Trump, didn't Trump say? Oh, he said oh, grab, grab him. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I guess he's. Yeah, now it's a it's a presidential decree. Mm, mm. You have yeah. to have. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that was a slogan. One must. <laughs> that was a slogan. <laughs> That was his slogan, and he yeah, won. And he won. And that took him over go. the edge. And that, that, that person, whoever he is, is just trying to win the presidency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got on, an, on Instagram. How many yeah. running away, huh? Yo, you, wow. know who, you know how I'm feeling, like, uh, uh, especially running in politics? I'm, I'm starting to feel Jill Stein, man. Really? Yeah, I'm. I'm Jill I, I Stein. Got, I didn't even know she was in the race. Well, I don't I don't know if she's running for prep, but I'm, I'm studying her policies. I'm trying to read more about her, so... What is she running for this year? I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh, I have no idea. No, I mean, I before that, that, it was Rosa Clementa of the, the Green Party and shit. Hmm? We got time. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right. Yeah. What? You, someone farted? No. <laughs> asshole. Damn, man. I, I did. I farted. You did? Yes. Oh, damn. Sonia, come on. Yep. Yo, I think Sonia. You're welcome. So, Sonia, yeah. Sonia You're welcome. posted that one time, like, mad randomly. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Is, no, no. I farted. Is that ketchup? Then, is that ketchup I smell? I, I <laughs> meant to say I voted. So oh. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Go vote. Yeah, it was autocorrect. It's oh. <laughs> no, because I was uh, thinking, like, damn, look, man. Look, she she really doesn't. I was like, yo, like, she really doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. Damn, she really doesn't. Yeah, but that's good. You need that, man. So what, to mean? fart? Yeah, no, yeah. Man, just, yeah. She doesn't give a fart. That she doesn't but give you know a what fuck. that means? That means that you're taking too much dairy in. Dairy? 
That's probably true. I'm gonna be uh, silent. You gotta let go of that dairy. I love cheese. Yo, let go of the cheese, the no. milk. Well, I don't drink milk. You drink almond milk or? Uh, when I get a latte, I do. I do soy or oat. Soy. Well, soy. Soy is I for women, not for men though. Men can't no, drink soy. No, no, no. Okay, it's so the estrogen thing. No, yeah. plant true? estrogen is different from human estrogen. I don't like literally drinking what if soy I'm milk. An addict? Is not. If you're what a if soy, I'm an addict? Well, I mean, I don't know. Too much water can kill you. <laughs> too much That's water true. can kill you. That's true. Too much soy milk. Yeah, that can woman kill that you so you heard about it's that. It's like she, growing tits is the least of your problems. Like I, at least I get to play with them, right? Are you crazy? Those bras, they're expensive. I mean, they're really expensive. You're right. You don't. I mean, but like drinking soy milk is not going to give you tits. But no. Wants to play with hairy titties. Damn, that's a it's a nightmare. What the fuck is <laughs> what is going on, man? We're Animals talking about health right now. This is the health We're portion of the show. What they want, yes. <laughs> this is the health portion of the show. <laughs> Stay away from dairy and soy, I especially like dairy. soy. I like dairy because you get hairy titties. <laughs> <laughs> As animal, goddamn, man. All right, nah, yeah, stinky farts. And stinky, yo, those farts though. <laughs> Oof, I, I was, I'm lactose intolerant. I'm not lactose intolerant. You're I'm, not? No, I've never had that problem. But, but you just fart knows. randomly, like just. And not random. Everybody farts. You know, yeah, no, yeah. Intolerant fart. to fart. No, a, wait, do you enjoy yours, like your own perfume? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Come on, who doesn't enjoy their own perfume? No, well, I, nah, I like if you're in your room. Oh no. man, that one's bad. And you just sit there and keep watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I, I think we're, we know we're like programmed doing not on a Saturday. to. Oh, yeah, yeah but you know, you, you recognize, oh man, this one's bad. Yeah, but then no, you're you like, can, you I'm still going to watch whatever no, of course, thing I'm watching on you Netflix. You don't get grossed out by your own no, farts. Yeah, That's different course. from enjoying them. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying that you're fucking tasting it. Right. I'm just wow. saying. But, uh, I, but I knew a girl. You're a who fart really connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a fart girl. So. <laughs> I'm my own farts, maybe. Yeah, I know. You yeah. know what? You, no, you, yeah, know your own farts. Because you sit in your own farts. <laughs> Yo, what, what, Yo. Are, what are our listeners going to comment when this air? Listen, man, I, a I, quick, I, quick comment on the whole fart thing. Okay, I'm not sure. We're I'm driving. Sure. We're driving to the Poconos. We're about to go skiing. Well, There's like 10 of them. Right wait, now? who farted for real? It smells like a fart. No. no. <laughs> I, I, I promise I did not. No, I, I would own up. Yo, and we were all, it was like 10 of us in a little little van, and I farted. The windows was all the way up. The heat was blasting. It was winter time. <laughs> <laughs> farted so bad, and Lynn was in the car. Oh, you told me this story. You, yeah, well, Lynn yo, D, she yeah. threw up instantly. <gasps> she threw up. It was that bad. Now, y'all want to talk about lethal farts? <laughs> but you were laughing. You were, you were really laughing. Yeah, of <laughs> course. It's your own fart. Dude, that's a first, man. I always, I always, uh, under, I always want to understand that. Like, how is it that people? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do a transition so phase. Bad. Or, or hold on, let me finish. I or, gotta or, do the transition for you. What? Uh, you know, the pick of the league. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. But sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. You want to do the vision? Go ahead. I don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, this <laughs> is Paranormals <laughs> Pick of the Week. <laughs> oh, okay. My pick of the week is actually a movie, right? Or? This is actually a series. Oh, okay. And it, it's crazy that someone you see in the spirit of punk is actually deadly class. It's actually, uh, I'm rocking the shirt right now. It's um, it's actually very anti-establishment. It takes place after, like, the like you know, right after the Reagan era, like post-Reagan era. Wow, that's a dope shirt. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorite characters on Drugs. the show. But, the, yo, the whole show is, is very punk culture, very anti-establishment. Um, it's it's a, an academy that actually teaches these teenagers to become assassins. Mm. So yeah, to, to to just like terminate world leaders and everything. And fucking, I had to rewatch season one again. And I love uh, that almost every episode is titled after like a classic punk song. Dope. Yeah, like Bar Houses play there. That Kennedy's makes an appearance. The Adolescents. I'm a catch a, yo, it's it's a dope fucking show. It's very underrated. Wow. Very underrated, man. I want to do some punk shit now, like some punk music. I, I, I wish I could sing. What I want to be. No, where do you get those beats? Where do you get those instruments? Or I mean, because it's played. Well, right? if like, you heard my from... album, there's some of that is post-punk influence. So it is. Wait, are you musically trained? Yeah, well, Sonia? Oh, no, Sonia, I Sonia. am, I am, but it's like I didn't have to be to do the shit I'm doing right now, you know what I mean? Is there some bass guitars that have like four strings, that's about bass it? Bass guitars have four strings. That's it, right? But I, I don't even play no, bass, I don't, I don't even play bass in biatch. Mm. So like the songs I write, I'm just like, I want to yell like this right now! Yeah. And like I tell everyone else what to do and how to play that was, it. It kind of scared me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, but you... you uh, I kind of farted. <laughs> 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 kind of. What the... <laughs> <laughs> it was a... <laughs> 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 
But so, you play the synthesizers in <laughs> A little bit. It's, yeah. more, little. it's more of like an accent, though. Like, I didn't have to, you know, take 10 years of piano <laughs> to learn how to no, go like, boo beep boo beep Nah, but I, I love that because that's something I don't think I've heard before, especially in a punk band, incorporating, like, synthesizers. So that was I, what was the first song you used it on the album? Like just going by the track listing. Um, uh, f- was it, it might have been Fear City. It, I think it was Fear City. Yeah, yeah because Alien Surf Girls comes is after that. At, right after that, yes. Yeah, so yo, those are great titles. I like that. That's awesome. Yo, I'm telling you, Alien Surf Girls. That's yeah. that's the standout single of that album. All right, I'm, it Where sounds like some it? '80s movies when I used to watch when I was a kid. <laughs> I, I'm not going. I, maybe that's that. what it was. I don't know, but it, I love that. Do like, we want to? Do we want to play it? Can we play it? Yeah, we yeah, yeah we'll play it at the end of the show. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. it, it, but, but the thing about Alien Circles that I love is that it's like I think you guys intentionally went to be wacky, and it, like I, I, I think I, I told you before uh, at Punk the Vote, I'm like, yo, if you do a video for this. It could intentionally yeah. be low budget. It could just be wacky and just so, crazy. Unfortunately, and we're we're not we're not thinking of doing a, a video for that one. But the even though I do, it, way too. Like, it's, it's like I know, I know, but we would do it in the winter on the beach when no one was would be there. You know yeah. what I mean? Yo, oh biatch, life's a beach. <laughs> <laughs> I caught the title for the new album. Yeah, spelled B E E C H. Yes, there you go. Yes, there you go. Yes, yes. Yo, I love it. Thank you. You're hired. Me, you're hired. You're in That's the band. It. it just came to me. It was like. Rice and beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that's my answer when they ask me. You know, when it go, goes for a Grammy, I'm like, Yo, what? How do you come up with that name? Yo, it came to me like rice and beans. Life's a beans. Life's a beans. Rice and beans. Life's rice and beans. Damn. Life's rice and beans. Again, it gives you gas. That's the beans. The beans. Yeah, it's probably the beans. I have been eating a lot of beans. No, protein. Protein. The legumes. Yeah, you you gotta love your legumes. Yeah, the legumes. We're gonna go home. All right, let's play some. Listen. Wait, do you have the band cam link ready? What? No, oh, I have it on my phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, play it on your phone, my brothers. So, Damn. Um, oh man, yo, I was gonna ask you about the Me Too movement. Are you? How do you feel about that? Like, you look like I'm you. I'm all for it. You look like you. You're down like to beat up some dudes. Like, yeah, dude. I mean, no perform. offense, but I hate See men. her perform. You hate men? <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, right. But uh, but I yeah, I, I mean men, men as an establishment. Hater. Okay. Well, people well, in power in general just abuse their power. That's there just, you go. That's how it is. That's how that's, it is. You know, it goes, doesn't power? matter what, uh, uh, if you have a penis or a vagina, it doesn't matter. Yo, Nick, Nick Adamas was at, uh, vacant for this episode. He's not feeling too well. Um, that's what he told you? Uh, yeah, he uh, he had a rough uh, day at court. No, I get better, uh, Big Nick. He tried to slam dunk and shit, and it didn't happen. I'm trying to find the, uh, Dan, Sonia. <laughs> you gotta stop eating those beans. This is it right here. Wait, yeah. anybody want to set it up? Yo, I, set I it up, like man, to set, set it up. up. Set it up. Like, like, uh, like I mentioned before, this is uh to me the standout single. I was mm. really hoping for a video, but I love the title. Happen for, things happen for a reason. I love the title. <laughs> but <laughs> things Maybe happen later. for a reason. This is Alien Surf Girls from from Bi. Check out the album Fear City. Definitely. It's definitely worth the purchase. Uh, support the art. Um, Once again, where can you get it? <clears throat> B-E-E-Y-O-T-C-H dot bandcamp dot com. Yes. There it is. <laughs> and the new album, you say, is coming around August, possibly? Late August, yes. Late August. Okay. Life's and, a Beach. And like I, I, <laughs> I can't stress you enough. I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. Like I re- Thank, I, you. I, Thank you. I know my tenacity assures me that I'm going to love it front to back, so... Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Sonia Edwards, for coming. Ho- hopefully, it Thank could be a part me. two. Yeah, I want a part two with you, man, because you were one of the yeah, one, of, the one of many. Guys. Yeah, one of many. Yeah, you definitely got to return, man. Yeah, so I think my my phone sucks. Like I said, we're we're not professionals, but we're getting there.
Thank you again for listening. Uh, next week, back to insanity.